Hi, I'm Sean with OMU Energy, and today we're going to show you how to do a 12 volt battery swap on any year end model of the Model X Tesla. We're going to use a lithium 12 volt battery that we offer in this swap. You could use whatever battery, but there aren't very many that fit. One, and then two, our battery is definitely the best option because it's got uh, like three or four times the lifespan, it's less than half the weight. And the performance is better too because you get a little higher voltage uh, during like base loads and things like that. Like if you have an amp and sound system, your Falcon wing doors tend to open up more smoothly because the, uh, the current draws don't have as much voltage sag with our better lithium battery. So we'll get right into it. All right, to do the uh, power off inside of the car, these are the steps you need to go through. First, go in and make sure that your frunk is open if you haven't already opened it. So we'll do that now and then go to safety and security, power off, and then confirm power off. Now the car is powering off. Don't close or open any doors from here on out. Leave all the doors in whatever position you've already got them in. And uh, as long as the front is open, you've got, you've got access to everything you need. All right, a couple of safety notes. Wear uh, gloves with a rubber liner. It's always helpful just in case you get some scrape or something on your hand. Uh, and also when working with the battery, you're talking uh, about the terminals and you might have a metal tool around it. So good idea to wear these. Uh, a lot of times people recommend wearing glasses. I'm not going to do it. There's not any uh, moving stuff that we're going to be working with, but it is a recommendation. So to get into the 12 volt battery, which is actually located right about here on these cars, we're going to remove all of this plastic trim lining. So you start with the top piece and it just pops off. Then the two side pieces, they're gonna pop off, and then the front piece will just pop off. Then you take the carpet liner out in the front tray. There's gonna be two plugs we unplug for the lights, and then about 19 bolts you have to un, uh, unscrew. Those are all 10 millimeters. Then the tub will come out, and then we'll be seeing the 12 volt battery, and then I'll go through that process from there. <laughs> Now that you've got the trunk out of the way, you're going to see your HEPA air filter here, which comes out very easily. Just lift up from the bottom, swing that out, and then pull it out. You'll be able to remove your high voltage interlock loop, which is right here. It's very easy. You push down, you slide that out, and then you'll see the 12 volt battery, and then we'll, we'll tell you what to do from there. at this point you'll have removed the high voltage interlock loop or the first responder cut loop that's important to do because you want to get the car to totally power down during the process and also you want the DC to DC converter to stay asleep when you take the 12 volt battery off that loop opening it up or removing it will make the big battery pack on the car the one that drives the car stay uh, disengaged so it'll it'll prevent that from closing its contactors and connecting high voltage power to the rest of the car that keeps the DC to DC converter offline and it keeps all the computers that are powered by high voltage powered down for this process. So that's really important to do. Now we're going to actually get to, the, we, you can see the 12 volt battery and we're gonna actually remove it now. To remove it, we're going to pull the whole bracket that it sits inside of, that's what we're gonna pull out. We're gonna pull the whole bracket out and then pull the battery out of that case and then put the new battery into that case, re-secure it inside and then put the whole bracket back in. To take that bracket out, there are three wires connected to it at the top that are just fastened there uh, with plastic clips. Those we're just gonna disconnect from the metal. And then we're also gonna take the two lugs off of the 12 volt battery itself. And then there are four bolts that hold the bracket down. Two 10 millimeter bolts 
that are at the bottom of the bracket and then two 13 millimeter bolts that sit up at the top of the bracket. For the 13 millimeter bolts, it's really handy to have a ratcheting wrench. Uh, you won't be able to get a socket wrench in there very easily. So something very low profile is better. And then for the bottom ones, it's very easy to just use your drill with a 10 millimeter socket on it. So we'll go through that, that whole process now. you have all of the bolts off that hold the battery bracket in and you've got the lugs removed on the battery bracket, you can actually take that bracket out. It can be a little bit difficult. You basically just lift the bracket up and tilt it backwards slightly while you pull the bottom, uh, the bottom leg off of that edge that it's on. As soon as you get that bottom leg over the edge, then you can let the battery come down forwards and it'll just, just come right out. So you've got the battery out with the bracket on the bench. This vehicle we're just doing for demo purposes, so it's already got an Omeo battery. It doesn't actually need to be replaced, but we're gonna just pull it out and put it back in for you. Uh, to, to remove the battery, you just remove the 10 millimeter bolt, keep the nut, 10 millimeter nut right here, then this bracket, and then you slide the battery out. The battery can be difficult to slide out. If it is, you can put it on the floor and stand right in here and that helps to, to anchor it down so you can pull the battery out. Another option if that is difficult is flat head screwdriver right in this crack allows you to get a little a leverage to push the battery upwards. One of the things that we do when we put the batteries in and I'll show you is we put some white lithium grease along the edges to help make it so that the battery can slide in and out more easily. So now we'll go ahead and pull the battery out and show you. This got her swing it. So when you have the battery out, it's really useful to put some white lithium grease in there. We include a packet with our batteries, but you can also buy it in the store. Uh, just white lithium grease is what it's called. And it stays, it stays in place pretty well over a long time in automotive use. So that's why, why it's a good, good choice here. And what you're gonna do is put a, just put a little bit on your finger, wear rubber gloves if you've got them. Uh, and that just makes cleanup easier. It's not dangerous for your skin. But just rub it along the edge and especially at the corners of the case. The front and back sides are not such a big deal. You could put a little bit of film there, but, but the main areas you want to worry about are the corners and the sides. That way when you put the battery back in, it will it'll rub through the grease and just slide into place like that. Makes it really nice and easy to put the battery in. And also, and more importantly later on, uh, after a bunch of years in the car and potentially temperature changes, you could have a tighter fitting battery and uh, it's good to be able to, to slide it back out with some lubrication there. Okay, so the battery is now back into the bracket. Two things, one, the position of the terminal. Make sure that the positive terminal is on the left. You can use uh, the, a battery that has the terminals in the front or on the back, as long as the positive terminal is on the left. There's plenty of slack the cables in the car actually to reach both spots so that that is that's not super critical whether they're here or here but the, the positive does need to be on the left or you won't be able to reach across with the cables and you might end up accidentally putting them in wrong uh, also to note 
with our battery, we're going to put two lead adapters on here. Those come with your battery. And there's a smaller one and a bigger one. The larger diameter will fit over the positive nice and snug. So you slide it on and then push it down so it's flush. And then the smaller one will fit over the negative. Same thing, slide it on and then push it down so it's nice and flush at the top. Then you can secure this bracket which you just set in place and then put the 10 millimeter nut back on. And then you'll screw that back together. the battery all set back up ready to go then we're just going to put it back into the car all the reverse steps of, of how we took everything out very uh, simple we're going to put the battery case back in place secure the plastic uh, the little plastic tabs that hold the wires then do your 13 millimeter bolts at the top 10 millimeter bolts in the front then reconnect the high voltage interlock loop that's the red loop that we pulled off, the little tag with the orange tag on it. We're going to connect that again. Then connect your 12 volt battery. That helps with the DC to DC converter we set. We have found that we get far less uh, errors after, after the install with the alerts if we do it in that order. If you do it the other way around, it's okay. 99% of the time it's not going to be an issue, but, but every once in a while you'll get uh, an alert that stays, that stays persistent in, if you do it that way. Uh, after you've got the battery reconnected, the high voltage interlock loop reconnected, then you put the tub back in, all those bolts go back in, the carpet liner goes back in, make sure you connect the two lights in the front, then all the plastic trim goes back in. You've got to put it in order, the front piece, then the side pieces, and then the back piece. So the plastic uh, trim pieces in the end have to go in that way. The last part that I just forgot, so rewind yourselves just a moment, is that the HEPA filter needs to go in. Make sure you put the HEPA filter in before you put the tub in, because you won't be able to get in afterwards and you don't take everything back out. So put the HEPA filter in, then put the tub in. And we're just going to show you how to do all of that now. Okay, so that is it. That's the process of replacing the 12-volt battery in a Tesla Model X. Hope it was easy to follow. 
We're always here for support. If you have uh, any questions or needs, you can go to our webpage, www.omu.com. We've got it right down here on the uh, page for you throughout the video. And our support page is www.omu.com slash support. You can find us there. You can send us an email or you can uh, chat live with us with any questions. And of course, you can get any 12-volt uh, batteries from us directly from our website. We, uh, we do 12-volt batteries for all the different Teslas. And we also have them for RVs and boats and uh, other things like that, like solar installations uh, with bigger, bigger format Group 31 uh, batteries. All of our batteries are lithium iron phosphate chemistry, so they're very reliable, they're long lasting, and they're lighter weight than, than everything else that you'll find. Our, our batteries are, are the best. So thanks for watching.